Joined by uh, victorious West Virginia University head coach Bob Huggins and student athletes Javon Carter, Daxton Mile, Daxter Miles Jr., and Tariq Phillip. Congratulations, guys, on advancing to the Sweet 16. Well, we're going to go right to questions for our student athletes, and then we'll release them uh, and have questions for Coach Huggins after that. So please raise your hand if you have a question. Let us get a microphone to you, get your name and affiliation, and we'll get started right now. Let's uh, go ahead, microphone, <coughs> Mitch. Hey guys, Mitch Vingle from Charleston Gazette Mail. Can you talk about this backcourt that you guys form and what you thought about at the beginning of the year and what you showed today? Um, all year we've been telling ourselves that um, we got the best group of guards in the country and we truly believe that. So um, when it's time for us to play, we go out there, we give it our all and sometimes it works, but we're going we gonna to put forth 100% and we're going to live and die with it. Others? Comment on that? No, he, he, he pretty much said it all. We, we believe that um, we put in a lot of work in the summertime. We came in um, believing that we were a tough group of guards, um, and we just got to go out and show it. No? Clyde's too. Stu Boyer, Channel 2 Buffalo. Just wondering how important you guys was getting off to that huge start right off the bat and smacking them in the mouth right away. How much did that do for your confidence and what did it do to get you into the game? Um, it was great flow, you know, from the start. And um, we've been having some really good practices leading up to the, uh, to the uh, tournament. And I don't know, man, it was just great flow on both sides, offense and defense. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't say it's a confidence booster because whoever step on the court, we feel like we can beat them. So we just got hot early and we just kept going from there. Go ahead, Dana. Uh, Dana O'Neill with ESPN. Javon, obviously you guys are known, especially in the backcourt for your <coughs> defense, but today your offense was impressive as well. Do you guys carry a little bit of a chip on your shoulder because you don't get as much attention for that maybe as you deserve? Big chip. Um, definitely. Um, we keep that chip on our shoulder. Um, a wise man once said, uh, remember where you come from. <coughs> and um, we always keep that in the back of our mind. You know, um, all three of us up here, it wasn't an a easy path to get here to West Virginia. We had to grind it out every step of the way. And um, when we get on that court, they just give us a chance to go short and prove that other schools missed out on us. Bucky Gleason, uh, Buffalo News. And it, it, to jump on what Dana just said, Tariq, if, if you could talk about that, you just said big chip. It, it's almost like, there's a, a notion out there that you guys can't play offense, but you have some good, really good shooters on this team. Um, yeah, we do. Um, first couple years here, um, they, they thought of us as defensive players, you know, but um, coach, coaching staff instilled a lot of confidence in us, helped us develop our offensive game, and we became pretty good offensive players. Let's get a microphone right back here. Hi, Greg. Greg Hunter, Bill, Gold News, Daxter, for you to start, and I guess Javon and Tariq, you can follow up. But they were known for, as a team that didn't turn it over a whole lot. You guys got 10 the first half and sort of set the tone. Did, did you feel like your press still was good against them, no matter how good they are at normally handling such pressure? Um, I mean, the Irish, that's a great program, you know, great coach. But um, tonight, well, er, today, we just – like I said, um, it was a great flow defensively and offensively. I think all five guys was on the same page early into the game. We led, that gave us extra confidence leading, you know, as the game went on, and we just took it from there. <coughs> Let's go back to Mitch. Guys, did you feel out there that they were wearing down that, you know, bringing in a bunch of people? Did did you feel that they were starting to wear down? Um, yeah, definitely. Um, that's, a, uh, that's what we pride ourselves on. You know, we, got, we go 11, 12 deep, 13 sometimes, and other teams only play six, seven, eight people. So we, we, we was always told that um, our 15 is better than their 15. So we get into that bench. That's a bonus for us. Go ahead, Bucky. Any of you guys can answer this, because you all were in, on the perimeter. 
Were you surprised how much room that you had on the perimeter, whether or not they respected your your outside game enough? Um. Yeah, I, I guess you can say that. Um, we just played, man. Uh, we knew they were small, <coughs> trying to get inside to our bigs a lot, play inside out. And um, we knew they was going to have a hard time guarding us. OK, last one for our student athletes. Go ahead, Craig. Start with Tariq. Tariq, did you guys ever get tired of hearing about foul shooting? Because obviously, again tonight, like yesterday, you guys were really good at the line and sort of sealed it there. Um, Coach has always been said, or always said, um, turnovers and free throws is gonna determine the ball games with us. So um, we go to the line, we just gotta step up and man up and hit the free throws. Anybody else to add to that? Yeah. <laughs> Gentlemen, thanks very much for your time. Congratulations. You. We'll uh, now open up for questions for Coach Huggins. He's Please raise your hand and we'll get a microphone to you. you want that yours? I'm sorry. Questions? <clears throat> Let's start with Mitch and then we'll go back. Coach, I was just wondering, I know you expected this from the backcourt even before the season, but is this the best you've seen of the total backcourt all year? There was a sports writer in West Virginia who put a poll out, are we top 20, are we top 50, are we top 100, and I shared that with our guys. And our guys goes, top 100. And uh, we used that as, as kind of a source of motivation. Um, did I know they were that good? I know this, they put an enormous amount of time in. They. Uh, they're in the practice facility 12 months out of the year. And, it, you know, it's great when you don't have to kind of tell people to go in there. They go in there. And, and uh, you can see. I mean, Tariq came in, not a very good shooter. He's a pretty good shooter now. JC came in and, and uh, was not real consistent. He's pretty consistent now. And, you know, I think, you know, you go, Nate, Elijah's put a lot of time in. A lot more time than than what he once did. So uh, they they deserve a lot of credit for. Uh, they want to get better. They they want to get better and they want to win. They oh. get tired of people talking down about them. Honestly. We'll go Mark and then Bucky up front. Uh, Coach Mark Tracy from the New York Times. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, on uh, kind of after the first two days of the tournament, the uh, prevailing fan sentiment about the tournament has been, you know, there haven't been a lot of big upsets. And I'm sure in this case you're, you're pleased with that. But I was wondering if you could speak more generally as someone who's been involved in so many tournaments, if it at all feels different this year and how important or unimportant you think that is to a good tournament. I think the TV people would tell you if they're if they're honest, they'd rather have West Virginia and Notre Dame than they would uh, a, a, a smaller school because the numbers are going to be better. I mean that's that's pretty much a fact. I mean, you have an upset and so they have to play it and they play it and they play it and they play it and then they have a meeting on Monday. They say, "What the hell just happened?" I mean that's the reality of it all. Um, so. Uh, it doesn't make it a better tournament. I don't know. I don't. I, I don't know if it does or it doesn't. Bob, you, you guys take obvious so much pride in your defense. Do you ever quietly kind of laugh to yourself because you know what what this team can do offensively? When there's so much attention paid to the defensive side, that you know this team's really good offensively. Well, we just today broke the school record for points in a season. Um, so and we're averaging 82 a game. I, I uh, did the uh, pregame radio show, and, and um, Tony said, uh, you know, there's people saying that you can't score with them. And I said, we're averaging 82 a game. Now, there's days, honestly, I don't know how we get to 82. But somehow we do. And um, our guys play so hard that it's, I think it, it's, um, 
I think it forces other people to play harder. But I think it also, people aren't used to playing at the pace that we play at. Let's go over here, Mark. Okay, Coach, uh, just uh, just your ball movement. What can you say what, uh, about your ball movement? I mean, you had some stretches there where like uh, nine straight possessions scored. The first half you had seven of eight and then eight of nine. Uh, just what did you think of that? Well, thank God, because we threw it away four straight times to start the second half, which we're prone to do as well. Um, when we when we stay in 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 our stuff, when we get we you know we our our whole deal with them has been do what you can do. Don't try to be something you're not. And and uh, you know we've got post guys now that have turned into really good post guys because they don't go in and shoot three pointers you know for 20 minutes before practice. They actually go in and work on shooting jump hooks. And you know that's been a process. Quite frankly, it's been a process. And then uh, just your defensive plan against them. I mean, to start the game, both teams were missing. So there wasn't, uh, you didn't have a ton of makes real early where you could put the press on. But it seemed like you didn't uh, throw the full weight of the, the half court traps at them as much as maybe you did against Bucknell. Um, thoughts on that? Well, we just wanted to wear them down. We wanted to make them work really hard at at uh, advancing the ball. Um, they shoot the ball so well. It's you know if you trap them and and you don't do a good job or you don't make the right rotation, they're gonna make shots. And so we were a little concerned about that. I didn't want to turn them loose. You know I thought I thought against Bucknell we did a horrible job of 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 stopping the ball. And so they. They constantly were attacking the rim, and and I didn't want Notre Dame to attack the rim. I wanted them to. I wanted them, quite frankly, to shoot threes, rather than turn them loose in the pressure. So, I mean, that's what that's what we do. We try to make people play the way that kind of we want them to play, and it's hard. Mike's a great coach. He's not a good coach. He's a great coach, and. and uh, to do what he's done is just phenomenal, and I've got I've got just a world of respect for him as a coach and as a, as a person. Last question, quickly. Um, congratulations, coach. Thank you. Um, in the first um, game, <coughs> kind of to get back off this question, you gave up um, I believe 45 percent from the three-point land, and um, you did also early this game. In the second half, you only gave up 30 set from beyond the arc. Um, is there, do you credit the traps to that, like you were talking about? I know you say you wanted them to shoot threes, but they were shooting them and missing them. I don't know. That's probably a better question to ask them. I don't know. Um, I thought I thought in the first half we, we didn't really, um, we didn't contest as well as we did in the second half. Uh, but... Um, you know, I'm. I don't know. People tell me that it would. You know, it's just the, the constant having to work hard to get the ball up the floor, work hard to get open, um, kind of takes people's legs. But that's, that's a question really better asked to them than me. I, I, I have a hard enough time trying to figure out what these three knuckleheads are up here were doing, rather than you know worry about what Notre Dame was thinking. I, I struggle at figuring out what they're doing. You know. Coach, thank you. Congratulations. I, can I say this? Listen, I love Buffalo. Uh, I came here in 93, World University Games. We won. Uh, played Canisius and whatever it was, 07, and we won. And came here in 2010, and we won two, and we just won two now. I, I love Buffalo. Any, and anytime y'all want to invite us to come back, we'll come back. You're always welcome. Thank you. <coughs>